The Economics of Cybercrime, Understanding Supply and Demand on the Dark Web The dark web, an anonymous and hidden corner of the internet, has become a thriving marketplace for cybercrime. Just like any traditional economy, the dark web operates on the principles of supply and demand, where cybercriminals and their customers engage in transactions involving illegal goods and services. Understanding the economic dynamics of this shadowy world reveals how the supply and demand for cybercrime fuels a global underground economy. On the dark web, a vast array of illegal products and services are available for purchase. These include stolen data such as credit card information, login credentials, personal identities, and even corporate secrets. Additionally, cybercriminals offer hacking tools, ransomware kits, phishing software, and malware, often sold as packages that even those with minimal technical expertise can use. The supply side of the dark web is driven by the commodification of cybercrime. Cybercriminals create and sell tools and services that automate and streamline illegal activities, making them accessible to a wider audience. For example, ransomware as a service, ROS, platforms allow individuals with little to no hacking skills to launch ransomware attacks. Similarly, phishing kits, complete with templates and instructions, are sold to aspiring cybercriminals looking to exploit unsuspecting victims. This commodification lowers the barriers to entry, resulting in a larger pool of cybercriminals and an increase in the frequency and sophistication of attacks. The supply side is bolstered by the anonymity provided by the dark web and the use of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, which facilitate transactions without revealing identities. On the demand side, there is a significant appetite for the illegal goods and services offered on the dark web. The motivations driving demand are varied. Some buyers are looking to profit from stolen data, while others seek to disrupt competitors, sabotage businesses, or engage in corporate espionage. The demand for cybercrime is also fueled by the potential for high returns on investment. For instance, purchasing stolen credit card information or login credentials at a low price can lead to significant financial gains if used successfully. The dark web's marketplaces operate much like legitimate e-commerce platforms, complete with customer reviews, ratings, and escrow services to ensure that buyers receive what they pay for. This structure instills a level of trust in transactions, further encouraging demand. Moreover, the growing sophistication of cybersecurity measures in legitimate markets has led to an increased demand for advanced hacking tools and techniques on the dark web. As businesses and governments improve their defenses, cybercriminals are willing to pay more for the tools needed to breach these fortified systems. The relationship between supply and demand on the dark web creates a feedback loop that drives innovation in cybercrime. As demand for certain tools and services increases, suppliers respond by developing more effective and user-friendly products. This, in turn, lowers the barrier for entry into cybercrime, attracting more individuals to the market, which further increases demand. For example, the rise of automated hacking tools has made it easier for less skilled individuals to engage in cybercrime, leading to a surge in cyber attacks. This increased activity attracts more attention from law enforcement and cybersecurity professionals, prompting suppliers on the dark web to develop even more sophisticated and harder to detect tools, perpetuating the cycle. The dark web's cybercrime economy has significant global implications. The financial losses resulting from cybercrime are immense, with billions of dollars stolen annually. Additionally, the economic impact extends beyond direct financial losses to include costs associated with responding to attacks, improving cybersecurity measures, and recovering from breaches. Furthermore, the dark web's economy contributes to a broader culture of criminality and mistrust in the digital world. As cybercrime continues to evolve and expand, it undermines the integrity of online systems and erodes public trust in digital platforms. The economics of cybercrime on the dark web is a complex interplay of supply and demand. The commodification of cybercrime lowers barriers to entry, while the promise of high returns drives demand. 
This dynamic creates a feedback loop that fosters innovation in illegal activities, perpetuating the growth of the dark web's underground economy. Understanding these economic principles is crucial for developing effective strategies to combat the ever-evolving landscape of cybercrime. Visit the link in the description below for more information.